We felt some novices chase. Here's next then. Um, this is the novice chase. Of course, it comes on King George Day, and it's over three miles. So it's the same as the King George trip. The top one is Constant Cupid for Dan Hughes. That's a newcomer. Gates of Dawn, Leon Van Rensburg, Heartbreak Hotel, Paul Rhodes, Rosini's McCavity for David Hooley. State of Euphoria for Ryan Tamasebi, Amazing Grace for Joshua Sutherland, Blazing Lass for John Morgan, Karen Thea for Craig Allen, Pretty Storm Craig Beckwith, Renvar Prospect for Craig Allen, and Strategic Goodbye for B. Fotheringham. They're off and racing, so down towards the first end. Oh, King George Day, and they're all safely over the first with Amazing Grace, the early leader from Karen Thea in the green and yellow in second. They get down to the first of the ditches, and they're all safely over that one with Gates of Dawn. Just the early back marker. And just a couple of newcomers in this then. And Amazing Grace is in the lead from Karen Thier in second. Then State of Euphoria. Constant Cupid in the blue jacket is one of the two newcomers. That one's just been pushed up along the inside and it's going to take a share of the lead. But coming through on the inside of that one is Heartbreak Hotel for Paul Rhodes who's going to come and join it. Join them and make it a three in a line. With just behind them Pretty Storm wide on the track. Is Renvile Prospect, the first of the two Craig Allen horses in State of Euphoria with the grey blazing lass after that one as they get to the next. Which they're also if you have a bit of a slow jump by State of Euphoria, seeing that one just drop to the back. But the pace isn't blistering at this stage. They come down to the fourth. And a bit of a slow jump by the leader, Heartbreak Hotel has allowed Constant Cupid to go on. So Constant Cupid in the lead then, but Heartbreak Hotel being driven back up on the inside. Amazing Grace just sitting there quietly in third. With a bit of a gap then to Blazing Lass and Pretty Storm. As they come down to this ditch, this is number five. And again, Heartbreak Hotel was a little bit slow over it. Gates of Dawn at the back was untidy. And Amazing Grace has just about poked its head in front. So this lead in three then, whether they can make up their mind which one of them wants to lead or not, I'm not sure. But they come down to the next, and that time Amazing Grace was the one that jumped it slowly. And Heartbreak Hotel has come out of it in front. So Heartbreak Hotel is about a length to the good then. From the newcomer Constant Cupid in second, then Amazing Grace's third, Renvar Prospect and Karen Thea, the two Craig Allen horses running together with just in between them, State of Euphoria. Down on this rail, we've got Pretty Storm. Behind that one, the grey is blazing. Last in the second of the newcomer, Strategic Goodbye in the pink jacket, with on the inside the purple jacketed Rosina's McCavity and Gates of Dawn in the Leon Ravensburg Gold Cap, the back marker. So inside the final two miles in now, skipping over number seven. And they're all still on their feet, despite one or two untidy jumps. They're racing down the straight now, and this next obstacle should be the one that's going to be the last on the next circuit. And Heartbreak Hotel has opened up a lead now of a good four lengths, maybe even five. And Rosini's McCavity is just dropping off. Like this is the one that'll be the last on the next circuit. Oh, I always miss that one out, but it's Heartbreak Hotel in the lead then, as they come up past the stand with one circuit to go. And Heartbreak Hotel is clear by six lengths to Constant Cupid in second. State of Euphoria has moved back up into third. The Great uh, Blazing Lass is fourth. Then Gates of Dawn right over on the outside. Renoir Prospect is next with Pretty Storm on the inside of that one. And then Karen Thea. A strategic goodbye is going to go the shortest way around. And Rosini's McCavity is the one who's just trailing at the back. But going around that turn has gone past Karen Thea as they skip over the water jump. And they're all safely over that as usual. And Heartbreak Hotel continues to lead by five or six lengths then to Blazing Lass, who's just about poked its head into second as they get to the 11th. Good jump by the grey there. In second place, has made it a clear second net. But Heartbreak Hotel continues to lead. Blazing Lass is second. State of Euphoria is moved up on the outside in third as they take this ditch. Another good jump by the grey, really attacking the fences. And closing to within two lengths of the leader. And it's Heartbreak Hotel in front. Oh, Blazing Lass in second. Then Amazing Grace is third. And Renvar Prospect fourth with State of Euphoria fifth. Inside the final mile now then. And Heartbreak Hotel is two lengths clear. Oh, Blazing Lass second and Amazing Grace third as they take number 13. All safely over that one as well. Yeah, the Renoir Prospect in fourth. These four have got a couple of lengths up on the rest of them as they take number 14, but now a mistake there by Strategic Goodbye. Might have put that one out of contention, but now Blazing Lass has poked its head into the lead. So the Grey's just about in front, but Heartbreak Hotel is coming back on the inside. 
And he doesn't want to surrender that lead, does he? As they come to this ditch and over that one, Heartbreak Hotel jumps it really well, got away from it well as well. But Blazing Last still looks to be going better of the two. There's a two length gap back to Amazing Grace and Renvile Prospect. Gates of Dawn is creeping forever close. A strategic goodbye seems to recover from that mistake. Over the 16th they go, and Blazing Last again, the slightly better jump, comes out of it a length to the good. From Heartbreak Hotel on the inside in second, Gates of Dawn third, and an Amazing Grace and Karen Thier is now coming through with a challenge right still wide open. This one, but Blazing Last the Grey looks to be going well in the lead. Karen Thea around the outside, throwing down a big challenge. Gates of Dawn is starting to get going as well, but it's Blazing Last the one we've got to get to. Heartbreak Hotel starts to beat a bit of a retreat, but tries to rally. It's Blazing Last and Karen Thea. Karen Thea just about poking its head in front of them as they race down towards the final two furlongs. This is the third from home over that one. Blazing Last again out jumped the Amazing Grace, made a mistake in the back, but it's Blazing Last who's now going two lengths clear again with two to jump. And the way this horse is jumping, it'll take a length out of the mother no it won't it makes a mistake so too did Gates of Dawn Heartbreak Hotel is now fighting back but it's Blazing Last coming down to the final fence gets over that one really well gets away from it well just the one mistake in the race then for Blazing Last he races up towards the line and Blazing Last is going to take this one pretty gozily really Blazing Last is the winner Gates of Dawn drawn on well to be second Heartbreak Hotel stuck on well to be third was in his McCavity also stayed on well to be fourth and strategic goodbye was going well for most of the race and then made that one mistake that seemed to knock the stuffing out of him and drop back to the back but blazing last puts in a decent performance there just that one slow jump which was nearly costly but john morgan it's another winner for him so blazing last john morgan the winner gates of dawn leon van rensburg second heartbreak hotel for paul Rhodes was third rosini's mccarty for david Healy was fourth and amazing grace for joshua sutherland was fifth